Hey, you want to talk about notification settings for your Wix website? Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to set up your notifications or toggle your notification settings for your Wix website right here, right now. Let's go. Alright, boom. So when you land on your Wix website on this in the studio mode, you'll see on the side you have settings. Go to settings and you're going to hit notifications. You get, right? And this is a simple this is a very simple lesson right here where essentially you can toggle on and off your notifications. So enable notifications for your site. You might get notifications for everything that that pertains to your site. When you get a visitor, when you get a, a new subscriber, when you get a new member, when you get a new sale, when you get a new XYZ, you might get so many notifications that you're like, man, I just want to turn these off. So this is exactly how you turn it off, right? Enable net, enable desktop notifications. This is going to be what it is. Like if you have a laptop, PC, whatever, it's going to enable notifications to pop up just like any other notification on the right on the right side of your screen or on the top of your screen sometimes. But it's going to allow notifications to pop up. Now, if you are streaming or you know you you do lessons like this, I would highly urge that you do desktop notifications because again, you don't want those pop-ups to pop up over your actual stream when you're recording. You might be 30 minutes into a video and then a notification pops up and you're like, "Man, do I edit this? Do I edit around this or do I just keep it there?" Again, just alleviate all of it by just simply turning the desktop notifications off. But if it's valuable to you, go ahead and turn it on. It's really that simple. Just turn it on if you need it, right? So we're going to go into some of the notifications by the, by the dashboard. And then we could get, in, well, I'll open both of them. And we go to notifications by email. So these are some of the notifications that you will be, that you will receive if you have them toggled on. As you see at the top, you can turn them all off. You can turn them all back on or turn them on in general and then you have the ability to select which ones you want so if a context is assigned to you so if you have a team and the context is assigned to you you can turn that off or on depending on how you want to do it I'm gonna just read this off and I think you get it like you have the ability to just click it and it'll go off or on so you can get uh, VLO no notifications, marketplace submissions and submission tracking, new member requests, new member signups, new message, scheduled social media post fails to share, price quote is accepted, price quote is expired, uh, recurring invoice is canceled, recurring invoice is paid, task assigned to you, task is due, visitor submits form, invoice is overdue, invoice is paid, and then in the email side, uh, contact is assigned to you, recurring e invoice is canceled, recurring invoice is paid, and tasks is due. And these are email notifications, so they're going to email you with these notifications, these ones that have email under them. So these will be des uh, dashboard notifications where they're essentially if you are on a site, it's going to give you a notification as soon as you log in, right? So a lot of these are very, very important, especially if you have a team like a, t a sales team, an editor team, and they're and they're working the back end of your website, a video editor team or a, a customer manager team or the customer uh, customer service team or what, who, whatever the role pertains to them. Like let's say a new member request, that'll be a customer service team or a or a. a an onboarding team that could be either or but again they will be notified that hey we have a new member request this is the whoever the team member is that's supposed to manage that we have a new member request they're going to get a notification as soon as they log in they're going to be able to reach out to them send them an email like hey i see that you requested it requested to join you know we are doing blah 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 this that whatever and we are excited to have you whatever the case may be but again this is a lot this is really setting up the foundation for a lot of this stuff. And now, at, le at minimum, you know where this is, where you can toggle these settings on and off so your team is notified when you know they receive different things. But for now, you might be the only person where you're receiving all of the notifications until it becomes unbearable. So with that being said, that's, that's the, even though it sounds like a bad thing, that's a good thing. If it becomes unbearable, that means your site is growing, you're getting a lot more traffic, and you're going to start the need to you know, start to delegate tasks and start to assign people to certain roles where, you know, where it's the most efficient for your, for your website or for your business. 
boom, so there it is. Those are the notifications that you get for your website and how to toggle that on or toggle that off or how to toggle, toggle on and off individual notifications for your website. Very, very important. Again, when you're scheduling your team, this is super important. I don't think I have to overemphasize that, but being notified is very, very important, especially when it comes to making sure you follow up with people who are landing on your page and are interested and what you have to offer. So that being said, I will see you all in the next lesson. Make sure you like this video so it goes out to people just like you who are interested in learning how to set their Wix website and learning the Wix settings for their foundation, for their actual website, for their brand. So with that being said, I'll see you all in the next lesson. Later, y'all. Peace.